Hello there, it's Harry from Pocket Gamer here, and I am in space. Not actual space, because that would be crazy, and our budget just doesn't stretch that far. But, I am in digital space, playing Out There. It's a brand new space exploration game for your iPads, your iPhones, and your Androids. Swoosh! Flying through space, a giant spaceship. Which is piloted by John Spaceman. I gave him that name. Um, and I've just cut off a bit of my finger. That's awful. The iron... F oh dear. But, oh, oh, that's just... That's kind of a, 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 a good example of the things that go wrong in Out There. You are a lone spaceman. I know my space folder needs a lot. Everything is going wrong. Why did you drop it on the space folder? Gives me a chance to show you the spaceship. So it's, you know, essentially a layout of different tiles. So you've got your elements along the top that you can use to fill your fuel. Like this. Fuel! So the fuel gauge at the top there went up. Up it goes. Um, but yeah, my. needs one iron to fix, I guess. Repair that. Repair, so that's good. Means I can fold space. Folding space is very important. Is it means you can jump between different stars. Just sort of the point of the game. Uh, let's pop back to my spaceship. So, giant planet there. Let's have a look. This one, gas giant, risk in fuel. Risk in fuel? Rich in fuel, but with a risky orbit. And it's tempting because obviously fuel's good. You need to collect a lot of fuel in this game. It could be called out there to get fuel. But it wouldn't be quite as a catchy tale. So I've jumped in there and seen some numbers have gone down at the top there I've taken a beating um, let's chuck some probes at it you can change the depth of the probes and the deeper the probe the more likely you are to get good stuff but then at the same time you might explode and die so let's do that see it's turned red there red means bad let's launch the probe so, oh I got some helium that's good <laughs> quite a lot of hydrogen hydrogen is very important hydrogen is what fuels your spaceship so you need that so let's leave this planet um can't remember what, oh there we go no not that um let's pop back in there so let's go to this planet a rocky planet which is rich in metallic ore sounds exciting um you'll every time you play the game you will visit a plethora of different planets it kind of reminds me of the bits in mass effect when you're in them giant spaceship looking. My geoscan is not installed. Am I, can I install a geoscan? So one of the things you're going to be doing a lot of is adding new bits to your spaceship. So any other technologies I have? No, I don't have any of that. You learn stuff as you go along. I learned, for example, at the start of the game from a space cube um, how to bend planets and fly between them. Or something like that. I wasn't really paying attention. So that's how the oh, So let's go. So that's the cost of fuel, you see? My fuel's actually already quite low. I've played the uh, Android beta of the game and spent most of the time choking to death in the black vortex of space. Just like in real life. So I'm going to stick some more fuel all up in this. And you see here, it takes hydrogen and helium. The helium will probably give you a better return because it's more. Exploding. Is it? I don't know. Let's have a drill. We won't go quite so crazy this time. So you've got some iron here. Drop that in there. It's quite a lot like just rearranging your handbag. Which is nice, you know. Who said that space experiments weren't like handbag rearranging? Okay, so we're done. We'll fly off there. Shows you again. It's gonna take some oxygen. You need oxygen, obviously. And other gases. Big. Oxygen's the most important one. Let's fly back up now. Let's see here. That's the yellow dwarf, rich in fuel. Again, a dangerous atmosphere. You see, there's an exclamation mark next to my hull points there. Um, not going to go there. Not this early on. That'd be crazy. So let's zoom back out. So this is your giant star map. You can see there's a red arrow in the bottom corner there that kind of shows you where you want to go. Um, and the green circle shows you how far you can go. So let's zip over here to another yellow dwarf. Again, 
can step everything there. Swoosh. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, more bad things happened. Lose 20 oxygen. It's just par for the course. It really is. Let's see what we've got here. A garden planet with a breathable atmosphere. Sounds delightful. Let's see if we've got any more oxygen. I suppose. So, refill my oxygen tanks. Quite why you'd have oxygen not in your oxygen tank since you've got oxygen pockets. But, who am I to judge? This is my job. Um, oh, that's just lovely. Got swirly and delightful. So, let's just land there. There'll probably be people here that'll try and beat me up. Yeah, that's good. Um, encounter life, let's do that. Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, his face seems to be a vortex, so I'm going to approve. I'm down with that. Yeah, well, yeah, all right. Okay, we'll give it a minute. Yay! I made a friend. Irada. Womp, iron. Ooh, avoid fluctuation projector. Wicked. So, that's good. Um, just skip it. Oh, there we go. It's down there. Let's see if we can build this void fluctuation. So we need some th. It's th. Okay. Believable vertical particle. No, that sounds. Expensive. Uh, so yes, we'll find some stuff. I'm sure there is an actual chemical element, I just don't know what it is. Uh, I don't want to drill there, because they seem quite friendly, so we'll fly off into the sunset. Not the literal sunset. Um, okay. Pop onto the next one, let's go here. Blue the yellow dwarf, the blue yellow dwarf. Um, we'll go to that one. I think things are usually better if you have your own side of the Oh dear. I don't want to know why I use these improvised gloves. That sounds disgusting. Oh, we made a little snow alien there. So, you know, always making the best out of things in John's basement. Uh, we definitely need some fuel, so we may as well go orbit. Oh, that was a beating. I'm really bad at this game. Probe. Another chunk of helium. Chunk of hydrogen. Finish that. So put that in there. Lots of juggling. Lots of well, not literal crying. Because you've been building in space and then you just drift away. Um you've not seen me die yet. But that is a very big part of the game. Permanent death as well. Um, because you're in space, where everybody dies. Um, or a red giant, that sounds dangerous. We'll go there and I'll see if I can kill myself before we end up the end of the playthrough. Oh dear. That's hot. That's and photonic winds. I have that one. Oh, minus 15. Tell you what, yeah, we're just gonna kill ourselves. Because it's fun. It's not fun, obviously. Don't, don't kill yourselves. Um, we don't have an ultra probe, so that was a waste of time. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go back in. Let's go. Where the garden plants are up there. Similar looking garden planet. Let's just land. Oh, that's a bit close. Yeah, full oxygen though, so that's nice. Let's encounter some more then. Sort of a... Uh... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Like a breakfast cereal made of starfish. Good. Ooh, a mango. That's good. That's an important thing to have in the future, possibly. Uh, take off, and... Ooh, that might... No, it's not going to kill me. It looks like my attempts to kill myself are going to fail. So that's what we can land again. See, when you're at the 
very end of your life, you do risky things to try and survive. It's the it's the way of the human race. So let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. That's um, that's pretty sad. Um, so yeah, John Spaceman died on a planet he'd already visited just because I am a cruel, cruel master. Uh, this has been Harry from Pocket Gamer. I've been having a Pocket Gamer first play of Out There. It's out tomorrow, possibly. Um, and it's good. You should uh, check it out. Ta-ta!